Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? Square root of root 4 minus root 3. From here, we can write this as square root of square root of 4 here is 2, that's 2 minus root 3. And then from here, if we multiply this by 2 and we divide this by 2. It's as if we have not done anything there because 2 divided by 2 there is still 1. So now we can write this again as square root of 2 into bracket 2 minus root 3 then divided by 2. So these two we Put it in bracket and we divide it by 2 so 2 divided by 2 here we still have the same thing then let's open the bracket with 2 there so this becomes square root of 2 open this bracket we have 4 minus 2 root 3 now then divided by 2 and uh, in the next step we can write 4 here as 3 plus 1 and this becomes square root of 3 plus 1, then minus 2 root 3. Then we can also put times root 1 here. Root 1 is t 1, same thing as 1, then divided by root 2. And from here, let denote a as square root of 3. That means a square will then be square root of 3 square, which will give us 3. So a square is 3. Then also a b is equal to square root of 1, root 1. Then b square as well will be root 1 square, which is equal to 1. Then if we write this, what we have here as in form of a and b so we are going to have root we have 3 as a square that's a square then 1 b square plus b square then minus 2 root 3 is a and root 1 is b then all over 2 and what we have here now is can be written as square root of a minus b all square so the expansion here give us the same thing in the numerator here then divided by 2 and we can separate this into two you know root here and the uh, square cancel one of the square root there so we have a minus b up then divided by root 2 in the denominator then a minus b there we have a as root 3 and b as root 1 so here we can say this is root 3 minus root 1 that's t1 then divide by root 2 then from here we can rationalize what we have here and multiply by root 2 then divide by root 2 then from here root 2 multiplies what we have here and that's root 2 times root 3 that's root 6 then root 2 times minus 1 that's minus root 2 then here we have root 2 times root 2 and that gives us 2 and then from here we can also write it in decimal that is root 6 the same thing as 2 point root 6 we have 2.449 then minus root 2 we have one point. 414 we have 1.414 approximately then divided by we have divided by 2 so when we solve this from here we subtract we have 1.035 divided by 2 and uh, here we are going to have approximately we have 0. 517 as a solution to the problem. 
thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn the notification bell on see you in the next class and bye for now